I did it! I caught a lantern! That's all I ever needed! And I am going to call you... Elumacy. I can't nickname you yet, can I? Okay, give me a sec. Give me a sec, guys. If you're watching this video, welcome to a special, quote unquote special, episode of Pokemon Sword Edition. Moon is C. Perfect. Love it. Mwah. Perfect. But that's not the only thing I'm doing for this video. I have another egg of a Pokemon. I am more than happy to hatch and hopefully add to my team. So while I drive my way to the nursery, enjoy this music. Because I really, really like this music. And answer this community question because of course. What line Pokemon game are you looking forward to me um, doing a video of or restarting the Let's Play of? Let me know in the comments. We are going all the way to the Crown Tundra because I haven't been here far enough times already. But this is for several reasons. One, I want my egg to hatch here. And two, there is a Pokemon I've been holding back on getting for far too long. So I'm not going to worry too much about it right now. All I'm going to worry about is getting where I need to go. I'm hoping one of the eggs doesn't hatch too soon. But whatever happens, happens, I suppose. I don't think this is the egg I just got. And it is another Ponyta! Hatched way too many of these things and caught too many as well, but yay. Enough procrastinations. Enough detours. Let's do this. And here we go. Which Pokemon will it be? <laughs> the wrong vo Vulpix. The wrong Vulpix. The vo why? Why? I just hear two Alolan Vulpixes together, which, by the way, I think I remember just showing on camera because I, uh mess that part up. Maybe. Maybe not. I don't know. That's not an Alolan Vulpix! That's not... No! Okay, well, this plan failed. Okay, so that didn't exactly work the way I thought it would. But there is still one more thing that I can get out of this. I just need to backtrack now. But for now, we're just gonna ignore all of that so I can make one thing work out for me. It's not necessarily the tree. It's near the tree, but it's not necessarily the tree. Oh, wow. We're going with the fairy types, huh? I think you guys might be piecing it together. Maybe. Ooh, Dragonair! Maybe I should go after some of them. I think this is the location. I'm gonna save just in case. And I'm gonna see if this works. <laughs> Hi, Mew! Hi! You're pretty. We got Mew, Fate, 
Indulgence, who I'll talk about later. And my new lantern, who's swimming away. Hi. Anyways, let's see if this worked. This did not work. Okay, cool, 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 cool. I know what to do, game. I know what to do. It's fine. It's fine. I know what to do. It's fine. Because I need the original Swords of Justice. And yes, I went out of my way to get a shiny of every single one of them. Tarakian still needs a name, though. Rumor has it, if you have every single Swords of Justice Pokemon from this game, not from some other game, from Sword of Shield, if you go to this campsite, you have them in your party, and you camp out, they say another Pokemon is supposed to show up. This better work. That's all I gotta say. But I need to actually get this. Okay, cool. It didn't work. Why did it not work? Give me a sec, guys. I've never done this. I've never seen someone do it. Are you for real, game? Really? What else do you want? Give me a sec, guys. I'm probably gonna cut this part out. I thought this was the exact place. Do I have to do it at the tree? Approach the tree on the left. You'll see a set of orange footprints. Oh! Oh, okay. Alright, alright. Look, looking for footprints again then, I guess. Um, maybe I'm bad with this footprint thing again, but I don't see... Oh, is this it? No, that's a rock. I don't see orange footprints! What am I doing wrong now? I do not see orange footprints. Like, literally, do not see them. Let's try this. In fact, I won't even have Mew in the center of my party. That might help. So we'll exchange Mew for Sakura. <laughs> Wrong button! I'm so used to having the Pokemon button over here. Mark my words. I'm going to get this to work. We're so close. Orange footprints. Are they getting in the grass? I don't see them! I literally don't see them. All of these... Swords of Justice Pokemon were caught here. Yeah, Giant's Bed, Lakeside Cave, and Frigid Sea. So they were all caught in this game. But I don't see no darn orange footprints. I'm sure this is the right island. There's two trees here. If I zoom in, maybe I'll be able to see things I didn't see before. But I think orange footprints would have shown up just a little bit better. There's the cooking pot. But I still don't see the orange footprints. What do you want from me, game? Should I have them in front of my party? Should I only have them in my party? What do you want? 
This was supposed to be a short video, but of course something had to go wrong. You may be able to activate this and has an interest. Oh, Sonia, of course. That Pokemon, isn't that the I'm... Guess that explains something. Speeds candy says, That's your best reward? I've had people give me revives just for winning a battle. Well, I thought she was talking about Cobalion. It's always the simple things, guys. It's always the simple even things. <laughs> that Pokemon! I knew it! That's the Grassler Pokemon Parisian. I swear that's not the one I put up in front. We did it! This is just amazing! Who's the greatest professor in Gala now? Uh, don't tell my grand I said that, would you? But I couldn't be happier about what we've done here. I hope you'll take this low reward. 10 experience candies out. It's all thanks to you, Brushworks, that I was able to prove my theory was correct! Thank you so much! You'd make a first-rate assistant for my work if you weren't already the champion! You know, there's an old legend about Cobalion, Tarakian, and Verusian. It's said that it protects their allies. They wage war against humans bent on destruction. And ever since then, they kept themselves apart from humanity. But the fact remains that they agreed to become your Pokemon Brushwoods. I guess maybe they're willing to give humanity another chance? <laughs> it wants my heart a bit, doesn't it? Now then, enough gathering around. We gotta get back home to write this all up. I'll be seeing you around, Brushwoods. Don't catch cold in this freezing place. And have fun with your adventures. Come on, Yamper. You and me are heading home. Yay! Bye, Amper. Bye, Sanity. I'll miss you the most. Oh. Now Beldum's all by himself, Hummers. But good news! We might have actually done the right thing this time! Cool! Time to put a pin in this once and for all. I think what had happened was I did it once, but I didn't save. I'm guessing that was what the case is. It should be here. And I'll see him again. Did the thing this time. I did it. Sonya left. Oh, there they are. Very faint. There's Pokemon evidence unlike any you found before. This is it. I'm done playing. But playing. I'm done with this nonsense. Keldeo, come out! I found the orange footprints! <laughs> oh, this game is teasing me. Alright, one more time. No, no, that was an accident. Eldio! Eldio! Do I have to stand in a specific place near the cooking pot? I know what to do. Just work. 
That's all I'm asking is for you to work. Do it for you, little girl. We'll keep setting up a tent like a Nickum boot until this works. Either that, or I will look back at my phone to see what I'm doing wrong that's making it not work. Yeah, Eric, you can cook some curry. Well, I guess I didn't cook the curry part. I'm losing my patience. Can you not tell? Here we go! Fan the flames! Fan them! Fan them! Man, I don't know what happened to Adrian. He just went AO. AWOL. I'm getting better at that, for some reason. I don't know why it took me this long to actually get good at mashing the button hard enough to make those flames rise, but... I'll take it. Better late than never. Hi, Caldeo! Come and get it! I see you over there! Maybe licking your lips. <laughs> nice, that, that echoed right in my ears. We did it! It's not perfect. Oh. Might have wasted that. Oh, no. All right, I'll leave the camp. Please work this time. There he is. A new <laughs> In his resolute form, apparently. I uh, didn't plan that. I wonder if I did that because of the Gigamax curry. Yeah. You do look kind of handsome now. Ouch. I just have to see. Alright, time to pick one. Probably luxury. Let's go luxury ball. Take a look at my ball inventory just to see if there's anything wrong. No, not the master ball. I love you, but <laughs> not enough to waste the master ball. Yep, luxury ball's a bust, I guess. I could go for like a dive ball, but it's the fanciest for my LVO. Any more better? Let's switch Pokemon. Fate could use Steel Pulse. That one really do a lot. It would not be very helpful, honestly. Observe! Observe the things I went through to get to you, Caldeo. Observe! Just don't want to stay in the ball. Valdez! Do it for her! Do it for her! Caldeo 
has no moves. Good. Great. Glad that happened. Luckily, I turned off auto save, or else this would be really awful. Um, I'm just going to take a crack at this. <sighs> nah, 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 nah. Well, I guess this recording's gonna go on for a while. I don't know if I should even be recording right now, to be honest. Okay, I'm gonna test something. This is probably not going to work, but I'm just gonna test it anyways. You can see that's the only island here. Alright, well he's still there. I guess I'm just gonna stock up on Ultra Balls. Sorry, Luxury Balls. So we got that. to set this up so I can have an even better chance at catching the very reluctant Keldio. Thunder Wave. Perfect. That's exactly, exactly what I need. I'm gonna get rid of Psychic because that's easier to learn again. <laughs> Round two, Keldio. Round two. Here I come! This is gonna be much different than the first time, buddy. Let's start off with Thunder Wave. <laughs> what? What protect? Protective Mist! Where did this come from? Is it because the fairy types are out to play? What? What? Oh my gosh! Should I have tried something different like Yawn? No, 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 no. This isn't gonna suffice. This isn't gonna suffice. Uh, 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 uh. If I can't use Thunder Wave, then I need to come up with a different alternative. I already searched. I don't think I'm gonna find anything different than I was looking for before. Oh, hey, Adrian! You're back! Sorry! I'm, uh, having trouble. I cannot believe I'm saying that, but I'm actually having troubles. I don't know if you would have any advice whatsoever, but... I'm trying to catch Keldio, and I failed the first time, so I taught Mew Thunder Wave, but apparently Keldio has some kind of mist surrounding him that keeps him from getting paralyzed. So, I'm racking my brain on what to do. I'm trying to see if there's like some Pokemon I have that can maybe use Hypnosis or Yawn or something, but I don't know if that will even work. By the way, congrats on the 25th Dratini. Kinda neat. Quick ball. <laughs> but I want to catch it in the Luxury Ball. So Mew doesn't have a move like that. Wait, she doesn't know- Oh, there it is. <laughs> Whoops. I'm surprised I'm still here, by the way. It is almost about an hour past how long I was planning to stay here for. But I must do this. I just need to catch the Keldeo. I really, really do. Um, did you hear that sound just now? If you did, that's my headphones dying. Alright, let's try again. Is Kelio usually in his resolute form? I 
still don't know if that's actually what it is, but I'm just going to keep going with that. Okay, if Sing doesn't work, then yes, I'll use a Quick Ball. He's a smart one. He's very smart and stubborn. Alright, I cannot use effects. This is going to be maybe the hardest battle I've ever had. At least with catching a Pokemon. I cannot burn the Keldeo. I cannot make the Keldeo fall asleep. Not paralyze the Keldeo, hence why Mew has Thunder Wave. I can't do any of that. Mr. T! Yay! Let's have a contest. Let's see if you can find the shiny Dratini before I catch this Keldeo. Also, I forgot to do the quick fall thing. Okay, I'm gonna leave this one up to you, Adrian. Should I restart my game just so I can use two Quick Balls? I'm gonna let you decide that. Meanwhile, I'm gonna check a certain app. I'm gonna turn up the volume so you can suffer alongside me. Recognize that cry. Look! It's Magikarp Jump! Isn't it great? So, should I restart the game? So I can try to use some Quick Balls? And maybe make this just a little bit easier for us? Also, before my headphones start to completely die out. He said yes! Huzzah! Watch this magic card push a fortress. Alright, let me let me turn this off. <laughs> that wasn't supposed to be part of the recording, but I don't even care anymore. See, there he is. I'm going to switch off the muse because. Unfortunately, Cobalt's not gonna help in this case. Gonna save. And we're gonna go in. Oops. Oh no, I used the Quick Ball again! I didn't even use the White Pokeball that time. Let alone the fact that Keldeo still is in the orange with his HP. Sheesh. And that's the end. Okay, well... Now we're going to count every time Keldeo faints, I guess. Alright, one quick ball, and that's it. <laughs> oh, he's like, nope. Nope, son, nope. There's no easy way out. No! Okay, alright, this really is my fault. Okay, we have a choice, Adrian. Are you here? Are you here? I need you to be here. I figured it out. It really is the mist. It's because there is mist in the area. The mist keeps status effects from happening. What? The only way I can bypass this is if I wait a different day to catch Keldeo. Should I do that? Should I wait a different day to catch Keldeo? Because as long as that mist is there, 
I cannot affect him with status effects. It has nothing to do with Keldiel's ability. Keldiel doesn't have an ability that negates him from getting hit by status effects. It is because of the weather. It is because of when I decided I was going to go and do this. If I wait a day, the weather will change and I'll be able to have a better chance at catching Keldeo. But do I do that? Should I just keep pushing forward, trying to catch him today, for as long as that may take, or do I wait a different day? We can alter the day the Switch. I don't want to do that. I'll get in trouble with Nintendo. I'm a good guy. Ha! Take that! The skies are clear now! You're not a fairy type. What you gonna do now? <laughs> oh, I do get stars for that. Well, I should have done that a long time ago. My brother. Finally done. All right. We did it. All you had to do was manipulate time, space, and weather. This was fun. <laughs> I don't know what kind of degree of fun I'm talking about, but in some twisted way, this was fun. <sighs> well, I'd say I guess this is a good place to stop off, I guess. But yeah, I guess I'm going to stop the stream here and apparently the recording that I'm still in the middle of. Until my next world run, until my next Pokemon or non-Pokemon stream and videos, this has been We The Play. I got nothing left to say, so I hope you enjoy your day. Take care out there, and I will catch you later. Okay, this is it. Meowth is cheering for you. Magikarp, jump! Yay! You did it, Magikarp! You d Oh! Oh! Wait! Wait! <laughs> I'm on recording? Oops! So sorry! Sorry, I was just... I was... I was just doing... This... Thing... You know, it, it took a matter. Yo, Bells! This is Way to Play the Pentabustrix of YouTube! Why am I still here? What? Why am I still suffering? <laughs> okay, well, first off, I tried to explain it a little bit, not that much, in the video you just watched, but unfortunately my OBS, not OBS, my Wondershare is having problems ever since an update. That's a video I'm gonna have to go into another day. Uh, right now, I want to focus on Pokemon! I've got a whole ton of Pokemon things. Cookies! I've got Oreo cookies. I don't care what you guys say about the Oreo company. So, I want to see what these cookies are. I want to show you what the cookies are. But I'm thinking, hmm, why just show cookies when I can also open Pokemon cards? So here's what's going to happen. This month is October. Monstober. Montober. I don't know. It, it's about monsters and things, and why not? talk about monsters than talking about, you know, pocket drive. So, I am going to be opening one pack a day and showing off one cookie. Now, uh, today is the 9th, so that means I've missed a total of 8 days. So that means... <laughs> Sorry. So that means I'm gonna be opening 
eight packs of Pokemon cards and eating or showing off eight cookies. Actually, I'm not gonna eat them yet. I'm gonna save that for after I'm done recording the video. So, let's open the pack very carefully because I actually like this packaging and I wanna keep it. And I'm going to choose one random Oreo and that Oreo is gonna be... Pancham! This is the Pancham Oreo. So, there we go. And now to open up one pack of... Oops, that's not it. Where did it go? Why do I have an empty wrapper on my desk? Why do I have lots? Let's open one pack of Pokemon cards before I open seven more. Seven more? Eight more. Sorry, I'm bad with math. We can fast forward through this part. Okay, there we go. I got it open. So, we're going to take one, two, three cards from the back, put them in the front, and that guarantees at the very end a reverse hollow and a rare. Speaking of which, uh, we start off with Ursaring. Poltergeist. Or these. Portuguese. I don't know. Uh, Combustion. Dunsparce. Electric. Galarian Mr. Mime. Grimer. I'm getting some good ones. Clink. The reverse is going to be Topo Coco, and the rare is going to be a good <laughs> At least I got Topo Coco. That's really nice. So, next cookie that I'm going to randomly pick, it is going to be Adriatini! Yay! This one goes out to you, Adrian. Alright, so I'm going to put my cookies on top of my Switch because that's totally a good idea. And I'm going to pull out another random pack of cards. Shining face, heck yeah. Here's the thing. A lot of Pokemon cards I have are now recent, so all the older cards I'm going to have to save for another day because I'm running fresh out of those. We're going to be just focusing on the most recent cards from, like, the Sword and Shield series. I really messed up this <laughs> packaging. I don't usually do that. Oh, well. Give me a sec. Give me a sec. Give me a sec. There we go. Put that aside. One, two, three cards to the front. We start off with the Team Yell Tau. Wacky. Gym Trainers. Horsey. Got that card before. Cuffins. Chewtol. Yanma. Morpeko. Volcanion is going to be the reverse, and the rare is going to be Yamega Regular Rare. Now for an uh, Oreo cookie, this is the third one. I'm just picking random ones. It's Pikachu! Yay! It all worked out in the end. I got Pikachu. Let's guard my cookies. We're gonna share them, don't eat them. Okay, time for another... Oh, oh, well, you're not. <laughs> I just pulled this out because I forgot to unwrap it. So I'm just gonna take two of these, pull them in the bag, and take this chilling vein and put it over here. Also came with a Snorlax card. Yeah, trash later. All right, so Chilling Rain. I don't think I've opened any of these cards yet. One, two, three. We start off with Trainer Card Flannery. We've got the Old Cemetery. Steeny. Squovet. Crab Brawler. Rookie. Score Bunny! I swear if I get another solve card. Aaron! So I guess I have played this before. Uh, 
Pog Crystal. I don't even know what I'm talking about. And the rare is Inteleon. Oh my gosh, that is a wonderful card. I love this Inteleon card. Uh, the reverse was the crystal. I just didn't mention it outright. Here, because that might be a start card. Next cookie, the fourth one. It is a Squirtle! that over there. Grab another pack. I'm gonna mix them up a little bit. Hopefully not grab another Chilling Rain too, too soon. Nope! We got Shining Legends! Heck yeah! So, let's see what I get this time and see if I get a shiny Pokemon. That'd be really good. Whoops, I accidentally saw one of the things that I got. That car was in the back. Hopefully that doesn't mean anything. Okay, so we have Carnivine, Feraligator, Volcania, Volcarona? Yeah, Volcarona, sorry. Uh, Larvesta, Herloin, Minum, Stunfisk, Reloom, Reshiram is going to be the reverse, and the rare is going to be a Shaman. Skyform. Not bad. Not bad pulls at all. Next cookie, which is the fifth one. I'm having trouble pulling out the specific one. Whatever. The next one is going to be Sableye. So I haven't gotten any repeats quite yet. And that's a Good feeling. The card pack is going to be base, sword, and shield. Alright then. Let's see if I get anything new out of this. Put that card to the side. One, two, three cards. Fun and fun. I didn't do that last time, but it was just. I did do it last time, but it was below the camera, so you couldn't see it. We start off with Galarian Stunfisk, Raboot, Hop, Trainer Card, Ponyard, Score Bunny, Nicket, I don't think I have a Nicket card yet, Chinchow, Diglett, Sinisty, Musharna. Did I do something wrong here? Oh, I guess Sinisty has the. Mushana is the real bear. Uh, Sinisty is the reverse hollow. For some reason, it just didn't show up in my camera. There was a hollow. There we go. Camera's blurring out a little bit. So, where did I put the cookie? Is this really number six? Oh, huh, interesting. I guess we're at number six now. And it is gonna be Piplop! The Pokemon in the most spotlight this year. So, That's going to be my starter for Pokemon Shining Pearl, by the way. Shining Fates. Jeez, I used to be able to open these card packs a lot easier. There we go. Card. One, two, three cards to the front. Let's start off with Luxio. The Wacky again. Busted Shield. Nicket again. Glossifer. I think that's how you say that. Uh, Cacnea. Cuffant again. Weasel. Woo! Shiny Toxtricity! We just got a shiny card, heck yeah! The real rare is Professor's Research. Regular rare card. But, hallelujah, I got one shiny Pokemon, so this is all worth it. Oh, wait, I need to go to the oil cookies first. Alright, well, the seventh cookie is gonna be Bulbasaur! So, I've got two Bulbasaur somewhere, hopefully. There is a charm. Again. I hope you guys don't mind these two 
much because I stockpiled a lot of them. I want these things desperately, so when I finally got my hands on them, I just kept buying them. Oh, I just bought a thing this week for more Shining Fates. Well, I'm not going to open that right now. I'll save that for later. Oops. I wonder how I'm going to get the Celebrations card pack. That's my question. So one, two, three cards. We have another Dwacky. Another Busted Shield. Voltom, there we go, that's a new card. Yanma, Coughing. More Peko. Horsey. Spinarak. The reverse is gonna be a Busted Sword, so now I have one of those. And the rare is going to be a Feeble. Nice. I do not have Feeble yet, so that's really welcome. Alright, so I guess there's two more cookies I need to grab. Well, this one is going to be... Oh, we got a repeat. We got another Pikachu. Who could be mad? More Pikachus. upset about charge, so let's be honest. Sword and Shield Rebel Clash. At least I didn't pick up another shiny one. At least that's why I think some of you are thinking. I don't know. Here we go, here. One, two, three. We have Electrode. The Tool Scraper. I think it says. Curse Shovel. Careful, I'm just trying to pull these cards where some of them revealed. Funnel B. It's a little stuck. Volpix. Phantom. Galarian Farfetch. I almost just said Farfetch. Wing Bowl. The reverse is gonna be Hone Edge, and the rare is going to be Regular Arcanine. Arc 9 is still left in our heart. Okay, so this is the last one. I've, I've done a lot of these, but... Aw, oh, man. I just got no VP squid all. Is that a bad sign? Maybe I'll get a Charizard in this next pack. Maybe I'll get a Charizard in the next pack. What if I called that? What if that almost sounded scripted? I haven't even opened it. I have no idea what's inside of it. Please just believe me. Besides, what are the chances I am going to get a Charizard? If it happens, I'm going to laugh so hard, but I'm not going to know till I can get this silly wrapping undone. So, go card. One, two, three. Not three. I accidentally all the Pokemon. Uh, one, two, three. I may know what my rare is. And it might not be Charizard. Well, let's find out together. I've got Cramorant, Team Yeltow, boy, so many wackies, Rallet, Warpeko in a different style, Nicket, Eevee, Glossifleur, Reverse is gonna be the CGI. Oh, that's nice. And the rare is going to be. I freaking knew it! I knew it. I saw this picture for just a split second and knew it was Zavood. But heck yeah, Zavood card is mine. Very nice. Regular rare. So, that is all I'm going to be opening for this video. I'll probably be opening a lot more. These are going to be the star cards. I'll pick three this time. We got... Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. Inteleon! Shiny Toxtricity and Decidueye. Wow, I should just be looking at these cards before I show them off like that. That was embarrassing. Anyways, that's gonna be it for this video. Uh, look forward to more non-Pokemon stuff and some real, actual Halloween content. 
I can't tell you how much because certain things have happened, but there's at least one or two scary videos that you might want to see or don't because they're actually scary. Maybe. <laughs> Find out for yourself! Till then, this has been We to Play. I got nothing left to say for for real this time. I hope you enjoy your day. Take care out there, and I will catch you later. <laughs>